All right, everyone, welcome back into Tournament Central. Nate Perkins here with a special interview with your Jonesboro Open champion, Anthony Barella. Anthony, I know it's been a few minutes, man, but you have to be in a little bit of disbelief right now. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know how to feel. It's just things happen so fast and stuff flip flops and everything just fell into place today. Man, you said in your interview with Brian that you were feeling a little bit nervous today, like probably more nervous than you've ever felt, you know, this year. And what does that feel like to you? How does it present present itself in your body? What does it keep you from doing on the course when you are feeling those nerves? Um, it's just a a lot of under commitment. And like in my mind, like this course is so prestigious. It's been around for so long. It like it felt real more real today than it had in the past. And it was just all about getting through my head that I can do it. And then down the stretch, I was feeling nervous and I was just telling myself, this is what I live for. This is why I play the game and just telling myself I could do it and committing. And how often were you kind of checking scores when things didn't seem to be going your way? Were you taking a peek to see what the chase card, what the third card might be doing out there? Yeah, I knew the scores were close. So after a whole after hole 12 or after i made that long eagle putt i was checking the scores after every hole just to see what was going on and what i needed to do so after 12 the three you kind of step back into the tree line you looked a little deflated and then of course you went on that tear what are you able to kind of switch on to to be able to to go from it's not going your way to pretty much birdieing out the rest of the holes yeah, I just hadn't, I felt like I hadn't thrown a great shot or made a big putt the whole day and I just needed something to spark and get that momentum going and I got that nice birdie on, thir on 13 and then that putt on 14 just really slammed it home and gave me all the momentum to close it out. Yeah, that putt was nasty. When you're in a spot like that, like 60 feet out, like what, what goes through your mind? Like, did you know that you were going to try and just hit it flat and not put, put any height underneath it? Yeah, I just I knew that I just needed to commit to this thing. And if I kept it, if I kept it chain high the whole way, I should have a chance if I just throw it right because it was a right to left like cross tailwind. So it just needed that little bit of hyzer and it just pushed all the way down there dead center. Nasty, man. And about as pumped up as we see you get on the track, yeah. turning around. I don't, did you look at Cupcake? Did you look at I heard Adam in the crowd? I feel like <laughs> I don't know who I was looking at. I was just pumped yeah. up. Just so fire. AB, three of the first five Disc Golf Pro Tours you've taken down, man. You join Paul McBeth, the only other player to ever win three of the first five. And I kind of want to zoom out a little bit and ask you, you know, you're kind of the first generation that you, you, you didn't grow up thinking you wanted to play another sport. You grew up wanting to be a professional disc golfer. I think, you know, at the age of nine or 10, you, you, you get into the game and when you take down a victory right here does this at all take you back to you know your moments in childhood playing disc golf with your family you know showing disc golf to your friends in middle school and high school does it take you back to any of those moments of course it does it just just moments down the stretch throwing that big hyzer on 18 it's just like i've always loved throwing those big shots ever since i was a little kid i always wanted to throw the highest and furthest shots and just that shot on 18, I felt like it was just the perfect ending for me. No, and you asked it to get up too. Did you think it was too wide when, when you released it? It took like a little air bounce down a little bit, yeah. but I felt I felt pretty confident I was gonna push back because the, the feather banners on the right side of the water were blowing pretty hard to the left. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, are, how close are you watching Calvin shot? Did you know it was OB right away? And is it a wave of relief knowing that you don't have to, to, to make a putt to take it down? Um, I wasn't relieved until after he threw that drop zone putt because anything could happen these days. And then yep. after that, it was just, I just couldn't believe it. I was in complete shock. Yep. I was just, I was just thinking, don't throw it into the, the thing and roll into the water. Yeah. That's my only yeah wow so it really doesn't feel like it's over until it's it's in that basket that's crazy yeah. well so you said this is just the beginning man you know wh wh where do you go from here are how focused are you on mco next week compared to you know the major in a couple weeks i know 
uh, Northwoods Black is is one of your favorite courses on the tour. How much have you been thinking about the lines that you're going to be throwing out there for the first major of the year? Um, I'm I'm really excited to play that course. I love it, and some of my buddies live is from there, so we all just hang out the whole week, and it's just great vibes out there. And I really want to take that one down. That's like. I just I want to get a major so bad, and I can't wait for them to start coming. Uh, it feels like it's only a matter of time, maybe. And uh, any parting words to to your friends, family, or any of your sponsors? Uh, yeah, I just want to thank uh, my girlfriend back home. She's on a plane flight the whole time, and then she texted me down the stretch, and that boosted me up. And then my parents, of course, for just being so supportive. My caddy cupcake, and then. It was my late grandma's birthday and my late great uncle's birthday today. So everything just fell into place. And I know my family's just super pumped and it's just a great day for the Barellas. Well, Anthony, uh, you're one of the most entertaining players in disc golf. Congratulations on your third disc golf pro tour win.